everyone, welcome back to my channel, and um, welcome to, after a while of, a while, um, I am doing uh, my first, oh god, hold up, my first ever NECA collection video. Now, I have a total of like, like seven figures, um, I have four currently on my desk, so let's take a look at them. Uh, the first one up is the Nightmare on the original Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger figure. Um, I think this is a great representation of. I think all of these, all of the figures that I have, are great re representations of how they looked in in their respective films. So, um, to their credit, they were accurate about having only the shirt part being striped in the arms are just red he of course comes with the finger knife glove um yes these are all nika stands they did not come with the fingers if any of you are want to want to know they did not come with the fingers figures so from what i can recall he comes with the finger uh knife hand he also comes with um his hat which is which you are able to take off um, and then like put it back on. And then he came with um, uh, a serious face, which I had on before him, before I put on this uh, like laughing face, sort of. You can sort of see it, or they go, uh, it's a grinning face. And then he has one when he's uh, fighting Tina, and he rips off his face to reveal kind of like a skeleton face. Then he has like a, a Tina mask. And then the tongue telephone. And then, of course, he comes with the hand for this arm that ha that has two of, his, uh, two of his fingers cut off by the finger knife glove. So, but, um, great, excellent figure. I think you should buy all of these. But uh, the next one up is Freddy, uh, Freddy's Revenge. This is one of my most recent ones that I picked up. Um, if you notice anything different, this one is much more brighter than the first one. And also the sleeves have the stripes on them, but this one doesn't. Uh, of course, his finger, um, his hand, uh, this time it's, some scenes in the film are actually the gov. But most of the time, it is this hand. Unfortunately, mine, uh, one, the uh, pinky knife is bent. So that's unfortunate. And the hat, again, is removable. Uh, they are different. Sorry for that cut. Um, so this is the original Freddy hat. And this is the one from part two. You can notice a significant difference between the two. Um, in terms of accessories, he does come with a finger knife hand, uh, like this one. But, uh, I just kept on this one since it is different. He does, of course, come with a hat. He also comes with these two dogs of... Which are kind of, uh, a little bit creepy. Um, he has three heads again. Uh, he has this one, which was the original one that came with the figure. That was on him. And then he has a laughing one when he rips his skin open to reveal the brain. And then I think he also has just kind of like a shocked face. And then he comes with a fire, which you can uh, put on the back, like right here. So this is where I kind of got the pose from, is where he has the fire in the back. And he says, you are all my children now. Ha 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 ha. Um... And I think that's it. Well, actually, hold up. Sorry sorry about the glare. But uh, this is what it comes with. It comes with this laughing face with the brain revealed. Uh, the fire. And then his sort of like, like shocked face. And then a finger knife glove. Now we're getting on to my Friday the 13th figures. Uh, this one is from part four, a.k.a. the final chapter. Um, he does come with his iconic hockey mask, which is removable, which I will show you later. 
He comes with a machete and a tombstone for uh, that says Pamela Voorhees, 1930 to 1979 at rest. Of course, he died. She died in the first movie, and that's why he's killing people. So, as I said, you can remove the mask. Try not to do it without making him fall over. And he is uh, mangled a little. A little disformed. Much camera trying to pick it up as much as it can. Let me the mask back on um in terms of accessories he comes with lots of weapons i can't really name them all besides the machete but i do remember a corkscrew um and then like a like a spear type of thing and then he, he actually comes with a different head because at the end of the movie he gets hit on this side so he gets the mask knocked off so, I just okay. There, he's, he's going. So, so his his mask is knocked off, and then it reveals this head, which is all right. I'll just hold him now, since he doesn't like this going to stand. Um, which reveals this face, and then he gets hit with the machete. Right there. On this side of the head, which is included, it comes with a separate head that you could pop on him if you really wanted to. Which shows the mark that made that it was made by the machete. Now I will I need a cut for a sec. The next figure I have is the final Friday the thirteenth figure I got, and it's the most recent one I got. It is the I have the box right here. It is the Part 6 Jason Lives figure. Um, he actually kind of looks pretty cool because this this time, instead of looking like a human, like this one, this one is more like the zombie Jason. There you go. It's more zombie Jason now. I put the mask back on. Um, you can't really notice it because of my camera. But this uh, this one has holes in it, so you could see his eyes. This one, because for the rest of the series, you could only see black in his eyes. They actually, well, this might prove it. Um, hold up. This might be a little bit better, but this is the part four mask. You can see holes in them. This is the part six mask. And as you can tell, uh, those, eyes are fill those eyes are filled up. So, uh, there's my, uh, that's, uh, the mask. Then he also comes with this pretty awesome tool belt, um, a machete, and he has a little knife, which I currently have in the pocket. Let me turn on my light. Turn it around. See, uh, he's, the knife is in his little pocket, and there's a machete one right there. Um, he also comes with yellow gloves, and he also comes with a tombstone that just says Jason Voorhees. In terms of other accessories he comes with, um, he actually, uh, this is what, this hand right here was the hand that was originally on him. I popped that one off because this is the hand that holds the machete, which is in the which was in the box. He also comes with a spear, it looks like, and a you can't really see it, but there's the little edge of to it. It's like a little pipe thing that he stabs someone with. He stabs someone with. Okay, I can speak today. Now on to the next couple figures I have. Here are the next three figures and I will discuss them now. The first one right here is uh, this Godzilla figure from the movies Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla from 1994. It is just basically 
a normal Godzilla. Uh, nothing really to say except for um, his tail, his uh, his uh, spikes on the back, or uh, his endorphal spines, and then his arms are movable, as well as his legs, but his legs are on the stand, so I don't want to move them. And that's really it for, oh yeah, also, I don't know if you can really see it, but you can't move his mouth. You have to move his head up in order to move it. So, yeah. Next up is uh, the Godzilla from uh, Godzilla vs. Destoya. It's basically the same as this, but he has all this orange stuff because in that movie, he was absorbing with radiation. Um, all the stuff is the same, except for the endorph uh, the, the endorphal fins on the back. Here's what the regular one looks like. This is what that one looks like. And it's rubber instead of like stiff plastic right here. Uh, same jaw action, the arms and the legs can move the same. And that's it, really, for the two Godzilla figures. Finally, I have a Chucky figure. Um, from the Child's Play series, or the Chucky franchise. Um, I have his, uh, mean Chucky face on. A gun, and the classic Child's Play knife. Um, his legs can move, his arms can move obviously and his head can move and pop off now in terms of accessories he comes with a lot of accessories so let's go down the list so we have the three heads this is the one that it comes with but uh i have the mean face on we have this face from child's play 3 when he gets half of his face cut off and then this one, I don't really remember where this one came from, but I'm going to say it's from, like, Curse of Chucky. When they reveal all the scars from him, from, like, Bride and uh, Seed are still there. So, I'm going to guess what that one is. It comes with lots, and I mean lots of weapons, including three hands. And you can see in the back there is a ch uh, good guy box. That is before you could actually fit Chucky over there, over there, into that box. I already tried to do ones that it didn't work out well. So he comes with a bat, a hammer, um, another version, another knife that is on this one is from Child's Play 2, and a hand from that knife that he shoves into his hand. Um, he comes with a scalpel. A big yardstick, a butcher's knife, and another butcher's knife. Why well, would you you would call this one a kitchen knife, and then and then this one a butcher knife, and then that's it. That is all of my NECA figures so far. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you guys like this sort of video, when I get more figures. Uh, later on, I will do an update video. Well, I mean, I probably will anyways, but um, if you guys like, I'll just actually make sure that I'll do it. Um, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see you guys in my next video. Live long and prosper. Out.